Hello, sweet souls. Happy Thursday. It's May 2nd. It's going to be your full length reading on YouTube. Um, if you haven't subscribed to YouTube, please do. Thank you for all my followers, um, the love, the support, and the donations. For those of you that have not heard about my drawing, oh, I got to get it. Hold on a second. I'm doing it for the month of May. Um, there is no stipulation as far as, you know, how many entries I get. You can enter as many times as you like, but you can only win one time. It's $20 to enter. And uh, the first prize is the one year anniversary ring. It's diamond and 10 karat gold. It's all been tested. It is real. The second place is a 30 minute reading with me. The third place is one of my decks. So um, you can pay through Venmo, PayPal, or Cash App. The ID is tbrown5557. And just put in the comments that it is for the drawing. And we will draw that on June 1st. So, good luck. I'm excited. I love drawings. All right, guys. We're going to call on St. Michael. St. Michael, please return to sender. Anyone sending a will through thought, word, or action toward myself or the viewer, we're going to call on the Holy Spirit, angel, saints, spirit guides, and ancestors, and ask for a message for your greater good. Um, and last night when I was praying, I started hearing the theme song for the love boat. So I don't know if somebody's going on a cruise and they're going to meet a soulmate or if they're going on a cruise with their soulmate. And I don't even know if it's coming out in the reading, but I definitely heard the theme song to the love boat, which is pretty funny. So let's use this deck. I haven't used it in a while. Uh, let's look at the current situation, current energy. What's going on in the current energy? The hermit. You could be in isolation, doing a lot of self-reflection, uh, staying really private, which is good. It's good to be in that hermit energy, you know. Not forever, but for a, for a time. All right, the challenge. Three of Wands. Somebody could be challenged because you're making plans for the future because you're moving on. Um, this could also be a challenge for you. Maybe there's been a glitch in your plans. I don't know. We'll see when we clarify. Uh, the focus. Two of Wands on the fence. Somebody, um, their focus is they need to make a decision. This can be... Um, unable to make a plan this could be someone unsure about what to do okay we'll see what that is past energy strength you had to have strength in the past uh whatever you were going through it required you to pull from inner strength all right your strength ace of swords the truth god's truth is your strength God gives you truth and clarity, and that's a strength for you because you can't be deceived, manipulated, or swayed in any other direction because God has given you the truth and clarity that you need, and that is a strength for you. This also represents a victory, a new beginning, and a victory. Okay. Uh, near future. That came out quick. Page of Swords. Near future. Now, this can be you doing some sort of research. Uh, this can be messages as well. This can also be somebody spying. We'll see when we clarify. All right. Advice for the collective. Advice. Ace of Cups. Stay in this divine love energy. Focus on divine love. Being in this loving energy. That's the advice. All right. Let's see. In the environment, please. Give me one more. Wow. In the environment, people can see that you are coming into union. King of Wands, Queen of Wands. This is a divine partnership. In the upright, these are two high-level soulmates. And in, people in the environment can see, whether you're with someone or you're calling in someone, that you are coming into alignment with a soulmate. That's beautiful. And that's in the environment. So other people can see that. Okay. Uh, hopes and fears. Hopes and fears. Ten of Swords. Somebody's afraid they're going to be deceived, betrayed. A very painful ending. Someone, I don't feel like it's the collective, um, is afraid of this. That it's going to be a really bad ending. Potential outcome. Six of Pentacles. You getting what you deserve. Equal give and take. The universe blessing you. Balancing the scales for you. The bottom of the deck is Nine of Swords. Someone is really stressed out. Perhaps they're stressed out because you're getting what you deserve. This is someone that cannot sleep. Um, uh, there's a lot of mental anguish in the Nine of Swords, okay? It can affect their sleep. It can affect their eating. It can affect everything. 
So let's clarify with the this deck, the one I never remember. I only remember it says Royale on it. I don't know if I got, let me look see if I have the box, guys, because I can never remember uh, these decks. But you know me in the morning anyway. I'm like, mm, totally out of it. Oh, well. If I can find it, I'll let you guys know what it is. Um, also, if you guys are interested in scheduling a private reading, I am scheduling for next week. I'm only accepting 10 appointments because Mark and I are moving. And um, also, if you're interested in meeting new people, check out Astrodibity. You can find both links, bio of TikTok, description of YouTube. All right, let's clarify this hermit. Let's clarify the hermit. Yeah, I can see why you're staying to yourself. <laughs> you got people out here, you know, being very deceitful. And they are wanting to, they're in this game of, of, of winning. They want to win at all costs. They want to do anything that they can to win. And so you're just staying to yourself. You're protecting your energy. Uh, the challenge is the Three of Wands. You're moving on. Okay, please clarify the Three of Wands. Queen of Wands. Somebody's challenged because you are in your full power and you are moving on. You're proud, you're confident, you're driven, you're making big plans for the future, and you know where you're going. And somebody's very challenged by this. All right. Um, in the focus, somebody can't make a decision. They're on the fence. They don't know what to do. Um, they don't have a plan in place. So let's just see what this is. Please clarify two of wands on the fence in the focus. Two of wands on the fence. Yeah, like six of swords on the fence. So somebody can't move on and they don't have a plan. So this is like limbo. This feels like limbo to me. They're blocked from moving on. They don't know what decision or choice to make. They don't know how to make plans to move forward and they're just stuck. I don't feel like that's you guys at all. Yeah, they're in a, an illusion. They feel very confused, whoever this is. Um, in the past, you had to pull from inner strength. Past energy, please. Yeah, because somebody wasn't giving you any love. There was no love. You know, so you had to pull from inner strength to get you out of that situation. Uh, your strength is Ace of Swords. The truth is your strength. Please clarify the Ace of Swords and your strength position. Yeah. The Wheel of Fate and Destiny is aligning for you. With the truth, the clarity that you have received, the Wheel of Fate and Destiny is aligning. And that's a strength for you because it's going in your favor. You know, you're getting clarity on your destiny. That too. I get that. All right. Near future. What is this page of swords? Near future. What is the page of swords in the near future? Holy Spirit. Holy angels, saints, spirit guides, and ancestors. Hold on, guys. Okay. So... In the near future, somebody is watching. What they're watching is you, this earth angel, being very balanced. They're watching you have victory, success, public recognition. So somebody is watching your life unfold beautifully. All right. Could be a soulmate from the past, someone that was a soul connection, whether it's karmic or not. It doesn't matter. This is just someone you had a soul tie with. All right. Advice. Focus on divine love. Ace of Cups. Advice. Yeah, because you have a divine union coming in. If you haven't met this person, this person's coming in. For some of you, you've already met this person. So they said, keep your eye, keep your focus on divine love, this union. Okay, that's beautiful. I love it. All right, and the environment. People can see that you have a divine union or you have, you're calling one in. That's people in the environment can see that. And the environment, king of wands, queen of wands. One more. Yeah. Somebody's still trying to hold on to you. You know, they they see that you're very loving, you're kind, you're empathetic, and they are watching everything. This is just a stalker. Someone from your past that didn't do right by you, and now they're obsessed with you. Obsessed with watching your new partnership. But that's okay. Let them watch. All right. The hopes and fears. Somebody's afraid of going through a very painful ending. 
Yeah, this is an emperor energy, a father figure. This could be the father of your children. This could be your father. This could be a boss. Um, but this is someone that what I'm feeling has been very um, controlling and dominating. I don't feel positive energy, and I can't even get these cards up off the table, guys. So I'll just show you this one. Um, give me one more for this emperor. Tell me about this emperor. This is someone that you traveled away from. This is someone that you moved away from. You had to have strength and you moved away from this person and now they are fearing the same pain that they caused you. They're afraid that's going to happen to them. Potential outcome, six of pentacles. You getting what you deserve, which is a loving partner, someone that is emotionally mature, someone that will give to you equally. And that's your justice. That's your justice. That's amazing. All right. So when we look at the bottom of these decks, we can see somebody's haunted. They're in a nightmare because of your justice. That's what I'm seeing. All right. So let's get some letters um, and some signs. Hope you guys are having an amazing day. All right. Let me shuffle it. We'll get some letters and signs, and we will see. Take what resonates. Don't ever uh, make any, you know, life-altering decisions based on a reading. You have to listen to your own intuition. Um, this use discernment. Pray about it. Um, you know, I have it listed for entertainment purposes only. So you have to tap in with your own intuition on every reading, whether it's private or collective. All right. Holy Spirit, Holy Angel, Saints, Spirit Guides, and Ancestors. Who's this reading about, please? Who's this reading about? It could be you, someone else. And if your sign or your person sign doesn't come out, it doesn't mean the reading's not for you. This is someone that needs extra validation that the reading is for them. All right, G on the bottom of the deck. So let me get this one. Ugh. We have the letter Z. We have D, X, we have N, we have Y, we have B, we have C and H and U. R, F, we have Capricorn and Libra. We have the letter M. We have Sag, we have Q, we have J, and we have O. Somebody needs to go, G-O. So if you're in a sticky situation, if you're in a, a situation with a partner that doesn't give love to, the, to you or doesn't give equally to you, it's time to go. I definitely heard it's time to go. All right. Um, Somebody is a dog. Somebody acts like a dog or treated you like a dog, D-O-G. Somebody could have a dog. Um, somebody's trying to numb their pain. N-U-M-B, numb. Um, let's see what else I get. mob again somebody could be working with a bunch of people that are just reckless trying to harass again somebody needs a hug um, also getting a job there could be a new job offer coming in for some of you somebody is gluttonous too i got hog out here they're greedy um run somebody needs to not go they need to run <laughs> run from whatever situation they're in somebody's name could be joe dm this could be about a, a divine masculine bug somebody's bugging somebody's stressed out joy you're gonna have joy joy in your life again expect it 
Okay, New Jersey. I got the Bahamas popped into my head immediately, Bahamas. Um, British Columbia. New Hampshire. Maryland. I don't know if Oxford is a... I don't even know where Oxford is, but I just heard Oxford. I don't know if that resonates for somebody. Okay. All right, guys. So let's get some advice, then we'll do our last round. Bye. Bye. I just saw bye. Saying goodbye, going, running. All right, let's just get some advice here, see what we get. Truth and only truth for the collective. What does the collective need to be aware of, please? Holy Spirit, holy angel, saints, spirit guides, and ancestors. What messages do you have for the, for the collective? Oh. All right, bottom of the deck, don't let fear of the unknown stop you. Let me get what fell, guys. Hold on. You have already won. You've already won. And those letters came out. One. I forgot to, to mention that. I believe those letters came out. W-O-N. You won. Uh, help is on the way. You have divine aid coming in. You are receiving signs, so pay attention. What are you waiting for? Take action. And then we got, you don't have all the answers, but you will know what you need to know. So just trust. You are safe and protected. And stop people pleasing. You don't need validation. And everything that was taken from you will be returned by God. I love that message. Okay. All right. So let's clarify the last round with the Intuit Tarot. So um, in the current situation we can see you're isolating you're staying private because you know there are people out there that are doing nefarious things wanting to win at all cost current situation please yeah this is so you're staying private i'm also getting this person could be trying to hide the fact that they're being they're feeling abandoned or rejected and they're going through the ten of swords they're going through the same pain that they feared in the uh position of hopes and fears they're feeling abandoned or rejected in the current situation in the hermit energy they could be trying to hide that you also could be isolating yourself from these energies you don't want to have anything to do with their drama you just don't you don't have anything to do with it you're not the cause for it that has nothing to do with you uh the challenge is somebody can't move on um sorry somebody can see that you're moving on and in your full power with the three of wands and the queen of wands you're beautiful, you're handsome, you're driven, you're passionate, you're spiritual. The challenge. Why is this in the challenge position? Yeah, because this person wanted to win at all cost. This is why they're challenged. But you can see in the previous, in the current situation, this has only led to an ending for them that's going to be very painful. They haven't learned. They're still in that energy. Five of Swords has been all over this. Um, so with the focus... They don't know what plan to make. They don't know what decision to make. They can't move on, and they're stuck. They're stuck and stagnant. Okay, so um, the focus. Ace of Pentacles. So somebody doesn't know what choice to make. They can't move on. And the Ace of Pentacles, they can see that you are in the stable energy, that new opportunities are coming your way. So they're focused on what it is you have coming in, and they're stuck in their own life. That's just weird. Past energy, you had to pull from inner strength because there was no love in this situation. Past energy. Yeah. So this could have been with a Knight of Wands, someone in a fiery energy that wasn't giving you the love that you deserved. But they're saying from the past, you're going to have victory, success, and public recognition. You've already won, okay? And uh, your strength, the sword of truth, and the wheel of fate and destiny. 
you know the truth and you are stepping into your destiny. It's aligning for you. Strength. Yeah, there's no more illusion. Seven of Cups in reverse. You can see clearly. Ace of Swords burns away confusion and illusion because that's God's truth. So you are not confused. You're very focused in your strength position because you see very clear the choices you need to make, which is awesome. All right, near future, somebody's spying on you. They're seeing that you're having victory, success, public recognition, that you're this earth angel, you're very balanced, you're temperate, a peace and harmony is being restored in your life, and somebody's watching. Near future. Why is this here? Oh, they're gaining wisdom. They're gaining enlightenment by watching you. All right. And the area of advice, they're saying just, just focus on the divine love and the divine union that's coming in or that you already have, okay? This is a beautiful, high vibrational twin flame soulmate union. That's the other thing. The other song I heard was Christina Aguilera, um, I Run To You, which is a beautiful song. Yeah, this is a passionate new beginning. This is a gift and blessing from God. God has granted you this new high-level soulmate because you did the work. It's beautiful. All right, in the environment, people can see that you are in a divine union or you're calling in a divine union. It is a match that your soulmates... And uh, someone's trying to hold on to you. They see you as loving, kind, and empathetic, and they're spying in the environment. Yeah, because they can see that you have cleansed this person, eclipsed this person from your energy. The environment can see you are done with whoever has been spying on you, that you have moved on, and that what you've moved on to is beautiful, a beautiful union. If you haven't met this person, they're seeing that you are waiting, calling in someone different. That's what I'm getting. All right, with the hopes and fears, this masculine from your past could be a feminine and masculine energy. Flip or switch the roles uh, where they belong, but this masculine is in fear because um, they are afraid they're going to go through the Ten of Swords pain that they caused you. This is a very painful ending. And um, this person wants to escape with the chariot. They want to they wanna escape this. Yeah, this person, they want to heal a situation, and I believe it's with you, and they want to move forward. They want to get out of whatever they're in, and they're trying to, with the magician, they could be trying to use black magic or manipulate the situation, but it's not going to work because seven of wands, you're protected. You're protected. You're already enlightened. A potential outcome, you have a new partner. Whether it's a, a man or a woman, it doesn't matter. Uh, King of Cups is someone that is emotionally mature. This is someone that will love you, that will give equally to you. Potential outcome, please. Potential outcome, please. Yeah. You're enlightened, so you're walking away from anyone that's low vibrational. You're not going to settle for less. That's what I'm feeling. You would rather wait and be single and allow the divine to bring in a high-level soulmate that's going to love you the way you deserve than to settle for anyone from the past or a low vibrational energy. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles in the upright. You're very grounded, you're stable, and look, four of wands, you have a new union coming in. Somebody is obsessed with watching your life unfold, like I said. You have a fresh start, awakening, spring, things are shifting, ten of pentacles, and two of cups, the sun. Yeah, you're creating a legacy with a new person, and somebody is obsessed with your life. Which, you know, have at it. If, if that makes you happy to, to not make changes and to waste your life focusing on someone else, then that's, that's your business. But the collective is not concerned or worried about what it is you do. The collective is going to live their life, their best life. Let's just get some other um, advice for the collective. Advice for the collective. Advice for the collective. Yeah. So they're just explaining to me. So the tower is coming for a marriage. Now this was if your past person went into a long-term commitment or a marriage with a karmic partner, 
because we have the three. This was a third party. It's going through a tower. This person made a choice. They jumped into what they thought would be a brand new beginning, but it was out of jealousy. It was out of a game trying to make you jealous. And it's an epic fail. It's a backfire. Yeah, they tried to manipulate the situation. They really wanted to cause you pain. But it didn't cause you pain. It, it pushed you into a new union. Calling in a new union. Okay? It didn't do anything but get them trapped and stuck in a very toxic situation. Yeah. Now they're in their head because it's it backfired. Whatever their plans were, it backfired. Yeah, now they're confused. See, the Eight of Swords and the Two of Swords is the Ten of Swords. This is what's coming for them. That painful ending they caused you. That an eye for an eye in the spiritual realm. I'm telling you, this is what will happen to them. That's what's going to happen. Yeah, this is that emperor energy. That father figure, boss, controlling, dominating energy. And you're the Queen of Swords. You said, I've had enough. Your pain, your painful endings is between you and God. I don't... I don't want to have anything to do with you. That's the energy I feel. Yeah, because you're off planting good seeds. You're focused on what it is you're manifesting, which doesn't include a to toxic energy. Yeah, you are focused on creating balance in your life. You could be really doing a lot of work. You're very busy. Uh, you're this nine of pentacles, the lady or man of luxury, high vibrational, financially secure. You're abundant in your energy. You're also very confident. Yeah. You know, you may hear about, you may get a message about a past partner going through an ending. It's going to happen very quick. This was a bad investment. They've been in a nightmare and the cycle's finally closing. This person could be ha carrying a heavy burden. Um, just, you know, pray for them, but continue to focus on your amazing life, guys. Okay. You're doing amazing. You deserve all the blessings that are coming in and you deserve this high level divine union that's coming in for you. So, um, I don't know what we're going to call this reading. Maybe I'll, I'll call it, I run to you because that's what I'm seeing. You had someone that didn't know your value and worth that treated you horribly you had to pull from inner strength and you left the situation you healed learned to love yourself and you're calling in a most a most amazing divine union so yeah we'll call it i run to you and listen to that song if you guys get a chance i love you guys have an amazing day and i'll see you on the next one bye bye